Good A's, get your A's, your boys are back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over and talking about if the Pro Pass is worth it for you guys to pick up in NBA 2K24, my team. So, what do you get with the Pro Pass? Well, we're going to start by looking at the season uh, playbook here, and then talk about, you know, the Paolo Boncaro of the world how good he is and go from there now before we dive any further into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button we're on the road to 130,000 subscribers obviously you get a lot of duos with the pro pass you also get uh, i don't know where it says it in here but you also do get like some mt and uh, vc as you do level up the rewards which is super nice and so, look, I'm not telling you guys, like, to do it specifically, like, for, for the MT and VC, but just know uh, that at least last season, you got extra MT and VC uh, along the way. Now, that's something I look in-game. Uh, I'm recording this before it's actually released, so that's something I look for in-game to make sure. But we're going to be breaking down these things and then talking about the difference in the Dark Matter SGA and the Pro Pass SGA as well as how good Bond Caro is. So, in the base pass, you get all these cards. Uh, Galaxy of Player Card Wheel Spin will be interesting. But even that, level 37 in the base pack, it's a wheel spin. Level 37 in the pro pass, it's a card option pack. And so I know you guys are probably like, dang, Ty, everything really is hidden behind, uh, everything is hidden behind, you know, a paywall. And you know what? You're kind of right. But it's one of those things like for $10, it might be worth your time. Like you got to realize there are people that spend thousands of dollars on this game uh, every week. And not to make us feel better, but like $10 a season, that might just be what I start spending to have fun with the game. Because you look at what the Pro Pass rewards are, okay? You get a duo with Russell Westbrook, Serge Ibaka at Pro Pass level four. Probably not unsellable, not really worried about that. Pink Diamond, Xavier McDaniel, David Thompson at level 19. Not super worried about that. But then level 31, you get Galaxy Opa Leap, you're right out. Level 37, you get a player card option pack. Now, why is that key? Okay, I don't know who is going to be on the wheel spin. I have no idea. But let's say when I get to level 37, let's just look at some of the Galaxy Opas that could be on there, okay? I've got Hakeem, I've got Chet, I've got uh, Braun, I've got Giannis. So, and I'm going to probably get SGA this season. I'm going to get some other guys. So, like, who would I want as a Galaxy Opa? I mean, let's just talk about it. I'd want maybe Kobe. Like, if he's on there, I, I, I would maybe take Kobe. Uh, some other guys like that, I might want Iggy, maybe. You know, those type of guys. That's really where I'm looking at is, is if it's like an option pack, maybe even like if Ron or Test is available, I'd take him in a heartbeat. And so we'll see what that ends up being like. But again, if those guys are available, that might be worth your time as well. And then you look at the difference between the level 40 SGA and 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 the in the pro pass level 40 now stat wise badge wise everything else they should be the same i i do believe you know they're the same their badges they're the exact same so i mean really the only difference here is one has the release on quick and one has it on very quick now is it a big big deal i don't, I don't think it's a huge deal like I, I don't and even if you have the galaxy opal sga i'm telling you the galaxy opal sga nearly just as good as a uh, dark matter sga but is it just an extra layer to this that you get a slightly better sga yeah it is like for ten dollars you get an as slightly better sga to add to your squad as well so again is is that worth ten dollars by itself no because even in the james harden situation i, I and, and it's gonna be the same thing with sga the, the tier is they're both going to be s tier point cards it's not like that changes even with james harden there's there, there, there it doesn't change that much between very quick and quick it's just another layer of this that 2k wants you to see and be like man i need that pro pass or i need the hall of fame pass but to me you get all of these things okay so let's just make a lineup of all the things you get with the uh with, with, with the pro pass ten dollars and again this is this is the only thing i like somewhat vouch for so you get the pro pass sga over the half pass you'll be able to guarantee yourself ray allen because he's guaranteed and is ray allen the best player in the game no but he is really solid you get paulo boncaro who let's talk about boncaro real quick guys let's let, let, let's talk about him I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this paulo boncaro is one of the best small forwards in the game he is that if you don't if you have not gambled so far paulo boncaro is going to be outstanding for you and going to be a comp card that can compete at the highest level for our foreseeable future normally you know, the card's obviously not perfect but i'm telling you he is so so good so you could have sga okay you could have ray allen you could have paulo boncaro 
And I, I haven't even talked about the, the Opal Choice Pack. Like, again, if you haven't gotten a, a good Opal Big, then you can go get an Opal Big if it's if it's an option pack. Again, I don't know the exact cards that are going to be in that pack, but even like a Hakeem is really good right now. Even like a Chet. I personally think Chet's fantastic. There are so many really good cards that you can go and get. So that, let's say you... Or even if you don't have Giannis, you could have Giannis at the three. If it's a, if it is a choice pack, Boncaro right there, Ray Allen right here, and SJ here. This is all for like ten dollars, guys, right here. And obviously you get an SJ anyway. But Ray Allen, Boncaro, and a choice pack instead of a uh, uh, an equal chance wheel spin. I think it's worth your time. I do. And I'm not trying to sit here and, and hype it up too much. You might get more Ascension picks as well. I think last season I did that. Plus, again, I don't know for sure if this is true, but I do know last season you got extra MT and VC along the way. I don't know if it mentions that anywhere in here. So if that's something you do enjoy uh, getting the extra uh, MT and VC, that's something I would look at. But I don't think it does uh, mention it in here at all. But just know Bon Carroll by himself is worth the $10. That's what I would tell you. So if Bon Carroll by himself is worth the $10 and you get an, uh, a choice pack, if you're going to reach level 37, uh, you're going to get Ray Allen. And Ray Allen is solid enough to play. And then the better SGA, it, it is worth your time. So again, I'm not one. I, I don't like spending money on the game. I just, I, I, it, to me, it's, it's not worth it. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, I mean, look, $10 and then you can have fun playing the game. Like, that's what I would do this season. Ignore ignore all the pack content until 2K changes things. But if you spend $10 on the game, okay, and you pick up, you know, the cards you want to pick up, maybe they'll have like the free rush grinds uh, still to this day. But let's say you spend $10 and you have some of the free cards of last uh, season. So like, obviously you're going to have to grind a little bit, but you could end up with SJ. You could end up with Paolo. Let's say, uh, you know, uh, you're shooting or you could still have Ray Allen, but on the bench, you could have Harden. If, I'm not even going to talk about Reeves, but you could have Harden if you grinded him out. You could have like Wiggins in here. You could have like Ray Allen in here. Like it is easy to build a no money spend team. It is. Like I'm not saying it's not. You could have so many good cards. Obviously, you could even pick up the new Sabonis in your front court if you wanted. My old thing is like, the buying buying the, uh, the 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 pro pass is just gonna make having fun with the game a lot easier to do this season. And 2K is making it hard with the pack content. They are no doubt. So I mean that's just kind of my recommendation. And you guys are probably like Ty, why are you flipping sides? Why are you working for 2K? I'll never recommend any of these pack cards. Look, I'll go over and talk about it, but never recommend it. I won't add them to my team. But when it comes down to the pro pass. It's probably just something I'm going to have to do. That's going to wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're doing it as always. Man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.